Welcome to day seven of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. Today we complete one week of joining together to pray and to seek the Lord and to remember what God has done for us, to cry out to Him on behalf of our own lives, our families, and our community. Today, the word that we're going to emphasize is repair. Uh, growing up on a farm, one of the things that we did all the time was fix fence. And uh, it, it always seemed like there was a section of fence that needed to be replaced or repaired. With livestock, we raised uh, big beef cattle, so those big animals would uh, sometimes, you know, run into a section of fence or put their neck through, and uh, it, would, it would constantly require our attention to make sure that uh, the boundaries around the pasture were kept solid so that uh, nothing could get out and nothing could get in. I'm reminded of the wall that Nehemiah built around the city of Jerusalem. The Bible says, so on October 2nd, the wall was finished, just 52 days after we had begun. When our enemies and the surrounding nations heard about it, they were frightened and humiliated, and they realized this work had been done with the help of our God. As we look at the word repair, as we see the reaction of the enemies of God's people and the enemies of the Lord to the fact that the wall had been repaired, that the fence had been fixed, we see the importance of mending our own fences. This would be a good time for every single one of us to take stock of our relationships and to make sure that we're not leaving anything unsaid or undone. If there is someone that you need to write a letter to or if there's someone that you need to uh, send an email to or, or you need to talk to them on the telephone, maybe you need to ask for their forgiveness, uh, maybe you need to just reach out to them and begin to repair and reconstruct relationships that have been weakened or broken. Let's fix fence during this period of time. And then let's look at our own lives and just take stock of where we are. Where are the breaches or the sections of the fence that have been broken down by, by sin or temptation? And we've developed habits. There are things going in and out of our lives that don't belong there. And the fence needs to be repaired. The wall needs to be fixed so that the holes in the wall, the breaches or the breaks in the wall are repaired. Let's ask the Lord to give us a, a, a grace on our lives. Remember, Nehemiah was only able to do what he did with the help of the Lord. We can only fix fence and we can only repair the wall with the Lord's help. Let's ask him for that help today in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray that there would be, Lord, uh, all across our country, Lord, that there would be a, a reconciliation, a spirit of reconciliation, of people coming together, not being scattered, but that we would fix the fences, Lord, that have been broken down, and Lord, that we would repair the breaches in our own lives and the, the holes in the wall that are allowing the enemy to come in and out. And Lord, we can't do that without your help. So I pray, Lord, that there would be a release of grace in all of our lives to be able to make sure that there are no openings by which the enemy would have the right or the ability to attack us, to afflict us, to go in and out, robbing and killing and destroying. We pray, Lord, that you would help us as we work together with you to build a wall so that we'll be able to be protected in Jesus' mighty name. Help us, Lord. We ask you to do it. Thank you. Amen. 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 So may God bless you today as you make those phone calls or send those emails as you search your own heart and say, God, is there anybody that I need to call, any relationship that isn't right, that I need to, I need to go to work on? If I've got work to do, Lord, you show me what it is, and I'll do it. God's going to help us as we fix fence in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.